Good morning. This is Pam with Follow Your Brush and thank you for coming and watching today. I was going to try to do a live but my setup just wasn't working out here. So um, this, this is what we're going to do. It's kind of the next best thing. What I wanted to talk about today is um, traveling light. I carry this art tool kit and a small A6 sketchbook from Etcher. This is a cold press, so it's a little textured. Um, in my purse, actually, no matter where I go, because I have found in doctor's offices, uh, waiting for my car to get, um, the emissions test is what it was. Um, I get so antsy because I want to draw or sketch while I'm waiting. So I do often and this size allows me to carry it with me in my purse. And this art tool kit, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, um, just provides me with an excellent, fits right in my purse, and I'll show you what's in it. I actually purchased this about a year ago and I did a full review on it, but I'm still using it and absolutely love it. And once you get this uh, carrier, or the uh, art tool kit, you can purchase the, their little tiny palettes individually. These are fabulous because they're like a credit card size. They come with the empty palettes and you can fill them. Or in the case of, they fit in these pockets. Now, in the case of this one, this one came already filled and these are Van Gogh colors. And these are what I'm gonna to use today. These are very transparent, and I don't have my color swatch with me right here, but um, we'll play with it in a second and see how it goes. It also comes with two little clips for you to clip open your notebook. Comes with a little spray bottle so that you can spritz your paper. Actually, that may have come in the bigger set and I just added it to this, I'm not sure. A little syringe, so that if you need to add water to your spray bottle, you can. I added a pencil and this is an eraser. A little, uh, it's by, uh, I'm trying to read, Tombow. <laughs> it's a little eraser. I do have, it does come with a water brush, but because of my issues with my thumb, I don't often use the water brush because it's hard for me to squeeze. So I also carry, especially if, sorry about that, I'm outside, especially if I am um, going somewhere in the doctor's office or something, I just carry a, a travel brush. And this one is from Rose, this is, no, this is, uh, this is an Italian one. I do have one from Rosemary and Company though. This is one I got from A Gallo. So I carry a little brush with me. This is my little towel. I ordered these wonderful bamboo cloth paper towels, but you can actually wash these and use them again and again. And I get them from Grove and Company online. Um, and they're just super sturdy. They're, they're made out of bamboo fabric. And so I, I keep one of those folded up. I have a fresh one out here with me right now, but um, so I, you know, I just have what I want and what I need just to go out and sketch. I do carry, um, in this particular case, I have some little pieces of paper with me if I don't have my sketchbook. So that comes in handy. But today I did bring a sketchbook out here, uh, which I also carry in my purse. So that being said, I'm going to set this aside a second. Here's my sketchbook. I love Etcher sketchbook, Etcher Lab. This one is an A6 size, so it's small enough that I can get this in my purse as well. And I can sketch, I can, whatever. Now, like I said, this, today I'm on my porch, so I did bring some water out here. 
I do have a collapsible water carrier though that I did also purchase from Art Toolkit um, that will fit in my larger case. Uh, if I'm out and about, actually I will just use this spray bottle and my water brush and um, instead of having to think, I usually have a glass of water with me, a cup of water, and I will slide that little collapsible thing in there and, um, and you know, use the, the water either from my water bottle or just fill that up. I like to use magnetic clips because that way, this is magnetic, and I can put this on um, right on my notebook and it holds it. It has a also has a place to um, move this over a little bit. Let's do it that way. In fact, let me put two clips on here. I do that often. And that way it, it holds really steady. See that? I don't want to do it that way. It holds very steady and that way you can paint. You have your, you can turn it this way too if you want. Uh, have your mixing areas right there as well. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm outside again. So, you know, I am not a hiker. I'm in my mid, mid to late 70s, I must admit. And um, so I don't really go hiking on mountains or trails much anymore. And But outside is a totally different experience than painting back in my studio with the air conditioning and great lighting. Actually, the lighting is better out here, but I'm just gonna kind of look at what I see in front of me today, and I'm not gonna sketch ahead of time. I did yesterday, if you watched my live yesterday, I did do a sketch ahead of time, but this time I'm just gonna kind of look and observe, and I see some some light green, almost a yellow green in the background. I'm gonna put some green down here. Now, I'm sorry, I do not have my list of colors right here in front of me, and so I apologize for that. There's also some yellow, and we know if we combine these two, this will make us a nice yellowy green or almost a, what we call a sap green almost make it a little more yellow because what I'm looking at as I'm looking through the leaves here I have an azalea bush and I have some it's not in bloom right now but I'm just looking at my garden and so I'm seeing some light leaves this is um, in the bush I'm not going to try to do every single leaf I'm just going to try to do the shape of the bush here I'm learning as I go, and um, which we all do, I think. We discover things as we learn. And I'm learning that the shape is more important than trying to stipple in and dib-dab all, um, all the leaves. I'm not gonna do that. I have another plant that's over here Add some more water here. I like softer edges. So when I went in wet on dry here, that really wasn't what I wanted to do. This is my cold press paper today. Yesterday I had hot press. Today is cold press. And I just have some other flowers here in my garden. So I'm just gonna do the shapes right now. In the background here, I am gonna pre-wet this a little bit. I haven't really painted online for a long time. <laughs> Done reviews and things like that, but I haven't really painted online. So I'm going to kind of come in here into my background um, and kind of avoid the areas that I are already wet because I really don't want them combining at this point in time. And as I'm looking out at my yard here, there is kind of a, um, well, I live in Georgia, so the, the grass, or the ground actually, is 
kind of a reddish brown or reddish, you know, we're known for our red clay. So I'm, but actually I'm combining a little bit of uh, my red and some purple. I'm adding some purple here. And then let me dip it into some of this yellow green that I already had because when you're painting, if you can kind of stay in the same color palette and keep your colors kind of um, compatible, you're gonna get better results. So I'm just looking out from my porch and as I look out from my porch, I've got some of this uh, reddish brown ground that we have here in Georgia. I think I put some of that on here. These are Van Gogh paints and they are, they're very transparent um, and kind of nice to work with. I also have in my garden right this moment, I have some really dark mulch that was just laid. So I'm gonna come in here and just put some of this mulch in. Our gardener came and uh, did some landscaping for us. Still gonna try to avoid that area where it's already wet. Come in here. Let's do some of this mulch. So we've got the mulch. That's a combination of a, um, <laughs> I totally needed to bring my chart, but I'm, we're looking at a dark, uh, some, it might be some neutral tint, I'm not sure, and some blue. Kind of get this mulch in here. The mulch is gonna be kind of blotchy, so, I'm a dib dabber when I paint, so I'm gonna dib dab some color in here because it's not all solid. It's dark, that's for sure. So here's my mulch. And I'm over, I know I'm overlapping and that's fine. It's not gonna be a problem. Just kind of dip dab some mulch around this bush. And actually, truth be told, I'm gonna soften this a little bit now. There is a, you can see the ground actually through the bush a little bit. So let me kind of do that a little bit. Just um, go ahead and lay that cup, those colors in here now. Because you can see through the bush. I'm not going to do the stems or the branches yet on the bush because it's not time yet. <laughs> Let me put some more dark in here. Woo! That went into my green instead of my... Here we go. There's a darker color. See, now that's when it's an advantage to have your colors listed because now I'm not sure what I did before, but... some more of this mulch and this plant down here actually um, it actually when you look through it it actually you can see the mulch through it so let me kind of do some little negative painting there and yes I'm going over my edges again and that's okay I don't mind this time some of this mulch appearance in here. And then I am gonna come back and um, add some more detail. So when you're traveling and, um, you know, you wanna just kinda take your stuff along, don't hesitate some background in here. I am looking through at my neighbor's yard. So we're just going to put some 
layer some a little bit of bushes in there. Come back in with some of my yellow. I'm I'm not um, when I paint like this. I don't really do a lot of details. I'm more of a um, what I call a dib dabber. I paint bit kind of with a light touch because I think it's because I've had so many various and sundry surgeries on this thumb that um, I just paint with a very light touch um, because I've had to. I've had to because of my all my various injuries. All right, I did my light colors first. I'm just going to come back in here and dip dab some some greens. I'm not going to do every single leaf. No, because I already have those light colors underneath, I can come in and um, just add some dark, darker value. The ones in the middle are even darker because of the shade at the moment out here. And then a lot of this has... Um, We'll go back in after in a minute and add some of my um, some of the branches to this bush. The ones over here on this side just kind of did the shape, and I'm adding it to the dark that I already had. These are even darker here in the middle. And like I said, I don't really want to do every single, I'm not trying to do every leaf shape. I'm just trying to get a modeled look and kind of the shape of um, what I'm looking at. And this bush kind of comes down here like this. And of course the shadows down here are gonna be even darker. So let's kind of get some shadows in here because this is where the where it meets the mulch, and it's also the shadows are coming across my yard. This Van Gogh paint, um, now you see I'm blooming a little bit here. <laughs> not me, I'm not blooming, my plants aren't blooming. It's me because I'm going in and it's still a little wet. So I'm gonna get some, some blooms. You really kinda wanna avoid that. You don't really wanna do that when you're painting. Um, this is just kind of a quick, quick little demo out here on the porch. So let's kind of get some shadows in here. And I'm just going to let that, I'm going to let the blooms dry. And then I will address that in a minute when I come back in. Um, this is darker still. Let me get some more of this dark color here. So, and the mulch comes down here. Part of painting outside is uh, learning to be observant to my shapes. Monet said, I didn't know Monet. I'm not that old, not quite that old. <laughs> but um, I read a quote where Monet said that he just looks for shapes and paints them. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm looking at my yard and I'm looking at these different shapes that I see uh, in front of me. There are lights and there are darks. And so when I'm making these shapes, I'm trying to be aware of not just the shape right in front of me, but also um, Also the, um, let me get this dark mixture again. I keep missing it, there it is. That's, no, that's purple. All right, hang with me here a second. Let me try to get a dark shade again, mix some of these together. So I'm trying to think not only about what I'm looking at right in front of me, but the shape that I'm leaving as well, if that makes sense. So that I can put these shapes of these plants in here uh, 
a little more realistic look. It's called negative painting. When I first started, I was really bad. I just could not see the negative space. I just didn't see it. And now that I have painted a while, it's like once all of a sudden it pops out at you, then I was like, oh, there it is. So it took me a while and um, the negative space means you're just seeing the shape around the shape. That make, does that make sense? Um, probably not. <clears throat> you see, I'm not quite ready to go in with my branches yet, but I'll, as I'm making these darks, I'm leaving space. You can see it really well here. This would be the <clears throat> positive space. This is gonna be my branch, my flower, and this would be my negative space around it. So you paint around the subject. It's kind of like, um, noticing the shadows and whatnot. Now I do need to let this dry a minute and because I am outside, I really believe this will probably dry pretty quickly. And I'm just doing these two, um, these two plants right now. So, um, yeah, this one, this, this bush right here is actually dry already. That part isn't. This I mean, to, this I meant to have, actually, you know what? You're looking at this upside down. Let's see if we, let's, we can do it that way. Maybe you can see better. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I was coming at this from a crazy angle. Um, let me rearrange here a minute let this dry a second because I am outside it's gonna dry quickly you will notice let me zoom in maybe that'll help well if I can zoom in nope doesn't want me to zoom in I'm sorry <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna keep going let me just show it to you here we go that's where I'm at at the moment. This is the neighbor's yard. This is the azalea bush, not in bloom. We do have some blooms in my water though. And then there's another plant here. And then this is my mulch. These are my darker colors and um, that I mix. This is my Van Gogh palette. And like I said, I'm using my um, art tool kit, little palette, which is great. All right, let me get back to this. And um, if it's cool to the touch, it's still damp. So you wanna be careful. And I am so sorry that I don't have this zoomed in better. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep going, I'm sorry. This plant right here has some beautiful yellow leaves. So I'm gonna go with some, just dib dab some of these in here because this part is dry. Now I'm not trying to be totally accurate. Bring this up so you can see this better, I hope. I'm just dib dabbing, I'm a dib dabber. Another yellow here. Let's do a couple yellows. This will be my flowers in my bush. I'm gonna lower it off a little bit. This is actually feeling pretty dry, so I'm gonna come in here and add some more light to this bush. I'm coming straight from the palette this time. I didn't mix these with water. So 
coming straight from the palette. And let's come down here a little bit. Because those other, this, because of these colors, the way they layer, you can still see what I did before. And these layer uh, really brilliantly because they're, um, they're extremely transparent paints. So hopefully, let me see if I can get that closer and see what I'm doing. Hopefully the lighting is good. And you can see that. Okay, I know I'm going a little long here, but um, I wanted to show you this. Now for my, I just went in there, so this, hmm, it's not, now is not the best time probably to, I'm gonna add, see how you can layer over this? Get some of that, um, and, and actually with some pink. I know my yard's not pink, but when I add the pink, the, this rose and the green, you do get that brown. And you see how it can kind of layer over top of one another. Come back in here with some of my darks again. Okay, this time I got some blue and then I added my green. So I'm gonna do that to um, come in and do some of these carefully, some of these stems. And because it's still wet, we're gonna get some blooms right there. And just for the sake of the video, some branches that come up here from the ground because I want my bush planted. I don't want it just sitting. So we do have some branches that come up here. So I do want to put those in. Like I say, this is a, an ultramarine and a, and a green and a little bit of that purple to get my dark color and the colors that I've already been using. So they will they combine together nicely. Um, I, I need to add more shadow and I'm gonna use the same color for my shadows here. This is partially dry. This is my mulch. But my bush actually de has definite shadow there that um, that I need to show. That I need to show in here. So I'm going to kind of come in here and show that shadow from this bush because the sun's coming behind it. Now because I am outside, you know that my light is changing like frequently. <laughs> Let me go down here and work on this other one because I don't want to keep you all day. Um, we do have some more green leaves in here. and I am going to jib jab a little bit here. Just a little. Now, this is very impressionistic. This is not, def obviously not a... Um, true representation of the bushes in my yard. It's just where I decided to go with it. This one actually is kind of fading out. I, uh, I, when it dries a little bit, I'll come back and add some more. Um, let's do some leaves. And this one, the sun is moving, so it's not actually in as much shade as the other one. OK, 
one here was some more yellow. Now that this is dried a little bit. And this does kind of come over into my mulch area. There's a pretty flower right there. So I can come over that. And indeed, again, there is some shadow here. So let me use this purple, some of this green, and let's do some shadow here for this bush as well. Because that's the direction the sun's coming. What you cannot see that I see <laughs> is that I have a mama kitty sitting over there who uh, recently left us some really cute little babies that we had not asked for. Um, and they are kind of hiding underneath the steps. You, they're not in the picture, um, but they are out here. <laughs> they're cute as the Dickens, but not something we requested or was looking for. Okay, I need to let this dry before I can do any, any more detail work, but that's what I have for the moment. And um, hopefully you can see that okay. I don't wanna make this video go too long because um, I know if I'm looking at YouTube and I see stuff going too long, I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna watch it. This is already drying, so let me add just a little bit more. Let's put some dots of yellow in here. Actually, this... Probably fussing now. I shouldn't probably shouldn't be doing this. I kind of have a tendency to to do that. If I had another palette, oh, I do have another palette. Well, I'm not going to keep you. I could do a, a, actually a better yellow. I have some uh, lemon yellow down here in my other palette that would work nicely. I'm just going to go with the palette that I have because, you know, if you're out and about and you're limited in what you have, that's what you're going to use. So even on the porch, this is what I'm using. Um, okay, I'm going to sign off and uh, that's what I have for the moment. I'm going to let it dry and then I might actually come back in and it looks really dark on the screen. Hopefully it's, you can see that better. Um, when it's f totally finished drying, I might actually come back over and do just a little bit of ink work with it. Do a little bit of line work and let those branches stand out a little bit. And thank you for watching. Follow your brush and um, like and subscribe if you got this far if you enjoyed it <laughs> uh, check out art toolkit i'm gonna do i have another little palette coming i'm gonna do a review when that comes have a great day and thanks for watching bye